Effective arts marketing is about establishing a relationship between your organization and your audience. So when it comes to decisions regarding both online and offline marketing, it can be helpful to compare building that relationship to how it's done between two people. That means thinking about your marketing strategies in terms of flirting, dating, and marriage. When you do this, you'll easily see where your marketing activities fit to build your audience. First, let's flirt. Flirting is a social media party. You're trying to make eye contact with your audience and engage them with creative and interesting posts not related to your performances. This may sound counterintuitive, but flirting is not about sales. Don't get ahead of yourself. People are not going to respond to constant sales pitches. It's all about introducing your organization with a great opening line like a photograph, a video, or an interesting blog post. When your audience starts flirting back by commenting, liking, or sharing your content, you know you are in. Now you can post information about an event and find out who is ready to date you. Your first date won't begin in the public eye of social media. It will be a phone call to your box office or an online purchase. You probably have an email address for the patron and you can build up the anticipation of your date by sending a note with more information about yourself and the event you are going to share together. Now, it's the night of your date. The seats are perfect, the performance is amazing, and your audience is thrilled with the experience. If you've played your cards right, your patrons are going to want to tell others all about you. As an organization, you want to ensure there will be a second date, maybe even a double date with friends. The three-day rule does not apply. Send a follow-up email and show your appreciation for their attendance. Go ahead and ask for a second date by suggesting future performances. Invite them to sign up for your e-newsletter so you can continue talking to each other. For some, there will only be a first date. Others will only be interested in an occasional date. But there will be a select group who will want to take the relationship to the next level. Congratulations! Your organization and your audience are now married. At this stage, you're mutually valuable. This audience is coming to your performances on a regular basis, you're inviting them to special events, and you're both involved in plans for the future. These are the longtime supporters who are going to sit on your boards and be the catalysts in your fundraising campaigns. So, as you're planning your marketing, keep in mind your audience members are all in different phases with you. Some will only be there to flirt, some will want a date, and a select few will want to get married. By remembering these three key phases of the relationship, you'll create the appropriate marketing strategies to keep your audience coming back for years to come.